But how do you create a business you could sell if you really want to? And, um, and interestingly, I think it's actually the opportunity of a decade for business coaches. When I make the decision to want to sell and, and build my business to sell, I actually engaged a coach. Um, spent a couple years with him, uh, more than six figures in coaching fees I paid him to help me build this company to sell. And I think you'll find that as you dig into this topic, when a business owner decides that they want to sell, it does trigger a new kind of decision-making tree for them. Suddenly, coaching goes from an expense line item saying, yeah, I don't really need, do I really need that coaching, to an investment that they're going to see a return on. And it's a little bit like if anybody, um, well, all of us probably own, or uh, many of you, I'm sure, own your own home. Imagine for a moment you decide to sell your house. My question to you is, what would you do to get it ready to sell? Maybe more accurately, who would you hire to get it ready to sell? I'm not very handy, and if I was to get my house ready to sell, I would probably have to hire in some professionals. Some would have fixed the leaky faucet. Some would have fixed the roof tiles that need replacing. The things that need to get done that, by the way, we kind of leave just untouched for many years when we're living in the house. But the moment we make the intellectual decision to want to sell it, we bring in the professionals to help us do that. And that really is the opportunity, I believe, for business coaches. Seven in 10 business owners today in the United States want to sell their business in the next decade. Seven in 10 business owners, seven in 10 of your prospective clients and existing clients want to sell in the next decade. And helping them with the multi-year process of getting a business ready to sell is, I think, the coaching opportunity, certainly of this decade.